uh, stuff by Eliza here. Uh, uh, that name's kind of cringy now I think of it. But anyways, here's a tutorial. First tutorial, yay, on um, how to animate in Fire Alpaca. Let me just say it's not the best for like long term animations for that you might want to go to I don't know Adobe Animate or something I don't know but anyway so let's get started so when you make an um, animation for YouTube or something the best definition is to use the 1 920 width by 1 0 80 height that's the highest definition that I recommend but you can go bigger if you wish short or smaller so you might go 1080 by 7 by 720 but yeah, anyways, you'll get a canvas like this. Oh, by the way, make sure it, um, make sure it's in pixels. Pixels. But yeah. And here we are. Here's our canvas that we're going to draw on. Now, first thing you want to do when you're animating is you want to go to view. And you want to go to un 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 skin mode. You just tick that. And so whenever you draw something, like let's say I drew a smiley face. And you, I just want to duplicate that. If I move it, there we go. There's a little um, red thing there. I don't know how to say it, but that's the previous frame. And so after that, if we move it, sorry, if we move it again, that is the next frame. So the green is the frame after, and the um, red is the frame of four. Can you hear that? There's like people at my house right now. But yeah. And so there you go. You have your little frame thing. I don't know. But anyway, here you can. Here, here's like the animation tools. So if we go to auto play, it'll automatically play. Now, here you can set how many frames per second you have. So if I want to go two frames per second will go really small. The higher frames per second, the faster it is. It is, but most people go for either 24 or 12 frames per second. We might go 12 here, but yeah. And if you don't want to autoplay, you can just go to select um upper the next frame. But if like you can just constantly click it up or down if you want. But the fastest way to do it is to do command or control and then this up arrow or down, down arrow. Now the reason that we use command is if you don't, it will just, if you pr press a down arrow that just flips the canvas. But yeah. And so here we have our little animation. I might make it just a little bit better. Better. So if I wanted to make an actual smiley face or something uh yeah there we go and I wanted to maybe make it the eyes close and open god there we go this is why I'm really slow at drawing and we repeat and just make it slower lower not slower, lower, and eventually we'll just have closed eyes, and yeah. So if I wanted to see from here, that's what would happen, and I can just view it here. Uh, auto play. There we go. But yeah, then that's for if you want to do one layer animations. But if you want to do two layer animations, not two layer, but if you want to make more complex animations, right? And you want, and you might need like more than one layer because it's really hard to do one layer. You just draw everything on one layer. Like let's say if you wanted to draw a ground and then a four right if you wanted to make that one frame right but you just go here and it still shows them as separate frames so what you're gonna do is create a folder right there and you put both of the layers in there so now when you do put 
duplicate the folder by pressing this duplicate thing right here and you might want to move that right there it will eventually like say it look different not look different what am I saying if you yeah this is for more complex animations and you can put as long many um, layers as you want in here as long as it's one in one folder so now we have folders each folder will count as one frame so here we are if we go to autoplay it actually does that instead it's exporting so here you go to file and then you go to export layers but you have to have it in onion skin mode so if I don't put it in onion skin mode it's just gonna be like that so I can put it export layers on your skin mode don't put save as just put export layers and I'll make a new folder and I'll just put it all in here now it's gonna ask you if you want to open this and you can open this right and it'll all be in Japanese so you gotta convert it to English unless you can of course read hiragana and katakana and kanji and everything um and yeah this is an example of an animation that people do so here all you have to do is just select all files in that and it will choose oh, and it will do everything for you right and you see how there's like numbers here that's just to make life easier and so they will num number the animations and so you just select all the frames that you want to use and it will upload the images and for some reason file apaka do delga doesn't work for me so if this doesn't work for you right actually let me just say all you have to do is you can tick whether you want to insert the file apaka logo you can loop the replay and then you just select the frame how many frames you want Sorry, it's just really slow. It's going to eventually upload. And yeah, here we have it. Now, it's going to be like... I don't know that... I don't know. But here you can customise how many frames you want per second. And you can have the completion size, change your size. I don't know what that does, but that's okay. Um, you can loop the replay, insert the logo, or not somewhere, but yeah, and then you just create a GIF animation and the steps are pretty self-explanatory from there. But if that doesn't work, I use gifmaker.me, which I, and I'll put a link to that below, and sorry, I just have this here, and with gifmaker.me, you can do like all this stuff. Alright, so I can open all these. and it'll just load eventually so sorry it's just gonna have that there but can I get rid of this? why did I? okay and so you can change the canvas size you can be the same without or you can make it higher or lower I don't know whatever you want um, and the animation you can change the animation speed right so the lower the like the lower the number is right the faster it is you can just adjust this to whatever speed you need but once you get like all of this done you've adjusted everything if you want you can put music but uh, um, it's optional you don't have to I recommend just making it a soundless track and then editing it in your editing software and here is where you have a choice whether you can create a gif animation or a video animation now for animations I use create a video animation so that's when it'll download right I can either view it or download it make another animation and so on and so on so I'm just gonna download this and it should download it's gonna have like these random numbers and all but here it is 
So I must have made it like really slow or something. Did they make it really slow? Yeah, they made it really slow. And you can find the MP4 in downloads, right? And so once you find it in downloads, you can just rename it and put it wherever you need it and put in your video and then yeah. So like it if you like it, comment for appreciation, share for more appreciation and subscribe for more. We all win that way. I'm getting too used to that line. I need new line. You guys have any suggestions? Oh, by the way, I'm doing a q and A. I want to do a QA, and a but it, if I don't get enough questions, that's okay. But if I do get enough questions, please, please, please ask questions. Ask away, and I will try to answer the ones that aren't too personal for me to answer. Like, I don't know, where do you live or something? I don't know what I'm saying. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm running out of breath. Okay, I should probably go now before I die out of embarrassment and humiliation. Okay, 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 thanks, bye.